Um, my name is Haritini Zainuddin. Um, I'm currently the CEO of Yayasan City Sakura, which is a corporate foundation. But I think I'm here because I'm the co-founder for Yayasan Chauke, which is a foundation that works primarily with marginalized vulnerable children in and around Chauke. And I work on different issues and I am very, very much involved in the rights of children. So, yeah. Project Liberate is a youth-led non-profit organization that aims to fight against human trafficking. Uh, our vision ultimately is to stop human trafficking altogether. Um, what we aim to do is to get the students to get interested in fighting against human trafficking. So we would encourage them to bring like their creative skills to come in and just uh, fight for the cause. Um, my name is Min Lee and um, I'm the chairperson for Light Alive 3.0 and child trafficking run this year. Okay, Light Alive is actually a project under the Child Development Psychology Club of Help University. And the main focus of this club is on children, which is why the Light Alive event is revolving around child trafficking. Well, the children that I see being trafficked um, are for a number of reasons. Uh, Obviously because they're vulnerable, they're marginalised, parents are, aren't able or cannot or will not uh, protect them. Um, it's obviously a supply and demand kind of situation. But also I think in many parts of the world, including Malaysia, um, children's rights are not recognised. And when rights are not recognised and children are left mar marginalised and vulnerable, um, then bad things happen. Um, trafficking happens to be one of them. Um, and it comes, like I said, from a diff from it stems from different kinds of reasons. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we we have a large percentage of children who are trafficked in and around uh, Malaysia, and I think in this part of the world, it's about seventeen percent of the total population of children who are trafficked in the world. So yeah, we got a problem. I think by just contributing the cause itself and to spread like information and stories about you know the happenings that's like going on around the issue of child trafficking, uh, it really makes an impact, especially when like you tell parents not to leave their children behind or simple things like um, being uh, an aware consumer that will all help to uh, eradicate human trafficking. I myself wanted to organize this charity run because I have the heart for kids. Um, I personally love kids a lot, and knowing how it is, knowing how it is so, it is such an important issue, and it's such a big issue in Malaysia um, of child trafficking. I just wanted to do my part. I really just wanted to step up from where I am. Um, taking an extra effort and extra step in the society to do what I can to raise awareness on child trafficking issues. Yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Honestly, I, I just found out that the that date's been closed. So I guess I'll be I'll be running. I'll be walking that day with my with my kids. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm I'm now getting back into it and I'm, I'm, I'm going to make sure that my friends and family actually are involved and that they'll be there on the run as well. Um, I think it's, it's a cause that's very noble that you guys are doing. I think it's so important for young people to understand what the issue is and I'm very glad, glad that you're doing this. So thank you. Well, I believe that human trafficking still needs a lot more attention from the public. So what we can do is we should educate ourselves, definitely. At the same time, uh, you guys can join us, the youth can join us to combat human trafficking at the same time. Basically, just like um, get involved in all the events that's related to the issue. I think that would definitely help. Protect your children. I think, first off, um, protect your children. Protect the children you know in and around your neighbourhood. Stop with the, that's my child, this is, this, is your, this is not your child, so I'm not going to care that someone else's problem. It's not. Um, a lot of children who are trafficked are also missing children, children, older kids uh, who've been lured or, or coerced into um, getting involved in, in trafficking and they don't know how to get out. So I think for you, especially university students and young people, it's very important for you to protect your own uh, because this is an issue that's global. Uh, you know, it's a 30.5 billion USD 
kind of situation where you make lots of money and you have every year about 2.1 million children who are trafficked and we have 17% of them in this part of the world. We need to protect children. They just, they deserve a lot more. So yeah. For me, um, I am from this generation and I feel like what we can do from this generation is really to be aware and to step up from where we are. Don't stay hidden behind your laptops, don't stay hidden behind your telephones and mobile phones, but really just to step up, join activities that are for the cause, put in your effort and take part in projects that raise awareness and really just come out from where you are and do whatever you can to support and help this cause because it is it is just so important to not be behind the scenes anymore and really just to step up and do your part as a Malaysian.